That looks professional. Done it? Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're going to do a few things in the old golf cart here. Like, I got a USB doodad thing my bobber I got to put in. And I've got a new U-bolt that I mentioned that we're going to throw in the back of the old blue balls here. So let's get this thing jacked up in the air. And we'll freaking go from there. First thing you're going to need is Crocs, a jack, and a little pump action. So we gotta find a good spot to jack this thing up, which I'm thinking right freaking here somewhere. The kids are definitely out in it today because it's dirtier than dicks again. Freaking kids cocking over my golf cart constantly. And do the hard job first. People do the easy job first and then wish they did the hard job first. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna get this thing up as high as I can because that way you don't have to crawl under it. So when I'm talking high as I can, I mean as high as this goddamn jack will go, which is right there. So now that we have this thing on the, the full upward positioning area, and it's nice and secure by the looks of it, we'll grab the impactor. Okay. Here we go again. Nope. Right. Uh, kind of. I think it's better, Captain. 17 millimeter. Let's try the noise making here. Hopefully she stays off during this procedure. Now this isn't the size to take off, but it is. And I'll tell you why. <coughs> it's a surprise. <coughs> Might as well clean the rim while it's off. What do you think? Oh, careful. Leave your comments down below. I'll pull that off. There we go. That's out of the way, Jim. <gasps> Easy. Look at them things. Them there are some cool rims, they are. All right, so we got to change one of these on the other side, like I said. So let's get over there and do that. Hold on. I'm probably making it dizzier and dicks, aren't I? Step there for a minute. You don't need to see this. All right, there we go. That's off. I definitely marked the back side of the rim. When you're working with these golf cart rims, always put them facing up because the rim sits out further than the friggin' tie ski. Where's my doodad? All right, so as you can see right here, we got ourselves a half after. I don't know who put that in there, but you're fired. So we'll set that right there and we'll get ourselves a cut off and we'll cut that out of there. Cause I can't even bother to do it the right way. And I haven't been able to try out my, yeah. So let's try this thing out. All right. So that's gonna spit that way. Perfect. There's one out. Can I get the other one out? And there's two out. Look at that. So much easier to cut that off. Somebody just used threaded rod for that. This one's loose too. No wonder why this cart wobbles all over the friggin' place. What's really going on? Rick, what happened? So I'm gonna take a hammer and I'm gonna hit that and see if it even moves. It should move because it should have a pin in it. But you never know. No, it didn't move. That's good. How come these didn't come with washers? Rick, what kind of friggin' Mickey Mouse outfit is this? Unbelievable. Where are my fucking washers? Do you even have any? Probably not. They never seem to have anything I need anymore. I take that back. I have some right here. I seem to have everything I need anymore. So we'll slide this in like so. Really? So we'll slide this in like so. And we'll slide this on here like so. And we'll slide this on here like so. And we'll slide the nut on like so. And I don't know. I'm gonna have to double this up because I don't think I got enough threads on here. I gotta have enough threads. Barely. We better put another washer or two on there. Really? You gotta make me do this, are you? Sure you are. Cause you're a fing asshole. Don't mind me saying so. So I don't seem to have any washers, so I got some old lug nuts here that I'm not gonna use anymore. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna use them. Now you're probably thinking that's stupid. Why would you do that? You're gonna see why. So you put a washer on each side, you push her up, put a lug nut on each side, and then you put the nuts on each side. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take that back out again. Let me rephrase that. You put a lug nut on each side. Here, can you see? Probably not. So when you're fabricating like I am, so if you put a nut on each side like that, you put this through. So if you put a, a bolt that's bigger, a washer, and then the nut, you have lots to tighten her down with. And then you don't end up like this. Because you ran out of threads. Here we go again. This one's a truck. Clean here for me. You get my keys. Why well, wouldn't I? I'm back. How you doing? We should be all set here. I got my deep socket. Oh yeah! Man! Ah, they're nice! We need, what size is that? 968. Oh, this cart's half metric and half standard. So we're gonna have to tighten up the inside one by hand. 
because it's right against the shock of Ruski. So let's see if the other front one will tighten. If it won't, we'll have to change it. It did so. That's good. There we go, we don't have to change it. Friggin' awesome. I'm pretty sure I must have got these for a lifted cart. But hey, as long as it's in there and it's tight, we're good to friggin' go. That looks like it might cause a little bit of a doodad there. If you don't know what a doodad is, it's when your cart goes. Oh, it's just a, a little bit of a bar, that's all. Not too bad. It held memory clock on. Oh yeah, I don't have any of that stuff, do I? I don't believe in it for some damn reason. So we're just gonna get a little bit of sandpaper here. And we're gonna give this a little scalp. Cause I'm gonna paint these blue to match blue balls. Cause that's what I do. Careful. Ooh, that's good, that means the brakes are working. So now that's done, we're gonna take our little same color blue as the rest of the cart. We're gonna give her a coat job. Always tape up your lugs. That way you have a nice thread and you don't dick it all over. Nothing like a good stud cover up. So now we'll hit it. Hit it. I'm pretty sure I don't need to paint much of this, so I'm not gonna get crazy with it. There we go. So we'll let that sit up for a minute. And while that's setting up, we'll hit it with a little bit of black too. You gotta love it when you get cans that don't work out. It's the second time I've changed that nozzle or blew it out. Thanks a lot, trim clad. What's really going on? Holy, is that ever plugged? How is that even possible? Oh, that's just lovely. That there is just lovely. Oh, I think we're dick, Joe. Yeah, that can't paint just f***ed. Oh, I guess we're using the high heat. No, we're not, because both lids are f***ed. It's the second can of trim clad I've bought where the lids plugged right up solid. And I've upside down blew it out and blew it out with the air compressor and it plugs up again. So, obviously they got some faulty damn nozzles. What's really going on? Oh well, this is what it is, I guess. Oh, we got one side painted blue. Let's do the other side. Sure, be nice to have some black paint. Man, oh man, would it ever be nice to have some black paint. It'd be so nice. Get in here for nozzle. I don't know if these will work or not. I'm just screwed. I've got nothing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm telling you, I've got nothing. Somebody's changed that one and did my idea. Look, hey. Look at somebody's done my idea on that one. See how they got the bolt under the bolt? Friggin' right they did. Beauty, quick wipe, quick spray. Oh, I forgot to tape off the dudes. That's all right. I'm half-assed sometimes. That's that's how we roll. Everybody's half-assed sometimes, right? Friggin' right we are. How you doing, Lens? Good? I haven't got paint on yet. Oh yeah, here we go. I knew I shouldn't have put this tape on here. Now I'm gonna have time getting it off. Always make more work for myself. Oh, we got one. Okay, if you're doing this, don't put tape on your fucking bolts because you'll be forever taking it off. Actually, that wasn't too bad. So now, we'll put the rim back on because we let that paint dry for five minutes. That should be good, right? Well, let's clean the inside of the rim first. Never forget to clean the inside of your rim because they're not the easiest to get to when they're on the machine. Get a little wipe here. There we go. Nice, very nice, perfect. Center cap, down here we go. On the cart, slap on some lugs, repeat. Very nice. Center, spin, line up, set on, plug, and there you go. So today we accomplished two out of three things I want to do back here. One was U bolt, other was painting the drums, and the other one was painting the more, more of the frame. But because Trim Clad cocked me over, because you know I bought a better reliable product normally nozzles both nozzles screwed up so i guess i'm just gonna have to stick with the cheaper rust coat stuff because it seems to work better for coming out of the can anyway friggin trim clad what's really going on you guys want like 12 bucks a can for that and that's what you do to me cock me right over you're fired but yeah both sides done hold on let me give you a little light action here light 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 where the f are you light hold on we got all sorts of stuff on lights around here look at that oh dick does that look good Attention to friggin' detail. Look at that. Taste There's a little job done. A little after work project before dinner. So it's not a real long video on something. And we got her done good. And now that wheel is further away from the, the, uh, the doodad. And actually I think the cart sits level now. Yeah, so there you go. See it pays to do little things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And fix some things up sometimes. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification if you did. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. I see I got uh, three yesterday. So I'm glad you're here. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to install this bad boy. 
in the dashboard of the easy go so leave me a comment down below if you want to see that and we'll get her done i gotta go out back now and fix decent decent needs a new battery charged it yesterday it's dead again today so he's a little pissed at me right now for trying to sell him i think i think he knows he's online for sale so he's not being very nice to me right now he's kind of turning up his middle toe if you know what i mean i might have a voltage drain somewhere which i'm gonna check out too but there she sit frig so we'll boost that thing get in back in the garage and give a new battery i happen to have a few extras back there so we'll swap out the battery in that and hopefully get it going and yeah that's about all we can do but like i said don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and until next time you know what to do for now